you a drop at least once some oil in water and notice that oil floats on the water surface. In fact, oils are composed by amphithelic substances like phospholipids, characterized by a small hydrophilic head that mixes with water and a large hydrophobic tails that repel it. The different nature of these two regions is at the base of the appearance of beautiful, complex structures that are formed when lipids are mixed with water. Changing relative concentration, thermodynamic conditions, as well as the chemical detail of the lipid, we can observe self-assembly into diverse structures, such as bilayer, micelles, vesicles, and so on. Evolution exploited the ability of lipids to remodulate their self-assembled structures into multiple ways. Not only we find lipid membranes composing the cell walls, or defining organelles like the Golgi or the mitochondria. Dynamic membrane remodeling is used for trafficking, by vesiculation, for example, or for cell motility, even defense. The study of membrane plasticity is very complicated. Phenomena are driven by the interactions at small scale molecular level. We are in the order of 0.1 to 1 nanometer. On the other hand, the self-assembled structures have characteristic dimensions of several hundreds or even thousands of nanometers and remodeling takes place in characteristic times of micro to milliseconds and beyond. Experimental methods used in the investigation of living cells are becoming more and more quantitative, and the needing of exploration at the chemical detail of the transformation occurring in biosystems is constantly increasing. In principle, we could use computer modeling to investigate the same system, starting from an accurate molecular detailed representation. Unfortunately, the characteristic sizes and times make calculations so expensive that, until now, the study of remodeling or realistic models of biological membranes has been impracticable. But things are rapidly changing. Biological processes involve a wide range of length and time scales. This holds for many physical systems, but it's crucial when the typical energy scale is KT, the thermal energy. Then simulating these systems means dealing with large spatial and conformational fluctuations. At the same time, the scale of chemistry and the molecular features drive all biochemical processes, so they are necessary to build up quantitative models. How can we address this problem? The approach named coarse graining is nowadays popular in the field of molecular simulations. By coarsening, simulators perform an educated simplification of the models aimed at retaining useful information and disregarding less useful details. This is similar to zooming out with a microscope. You may lose some resolution, but you gain on the global view. Coarse grain approach based on particle reduction are still computationally quite expensive. You still need to evaluate pair interactions among all bits, and you still need intense communication among nodes in parallel computations. Field theory provides a valid scheme for development of an alternative coarse graining approach. In this approach, the local density of particles, and not the relative distances, drives the motion of the system. In particular, hybrid particle field molecular dynamics is becoming popular because it allows simulations of large-scale systems and at the same time provides sufficiently detailed chemistry for the mapping scheme adopted. The comparison of the computational costs of this approach with the standard molecular dynamics due to low data exchange is impressive. To date, hybrid particles field molecular dynamics has been applied to the study of soft matter and polymer system, and then extended to biological models of large lipid patches. Here you can see the time evolution of sign models on a molecular scale close to atoms showing phenomena occurring on a mesoscale. Lipid undulations, interaction of a drug nanocarrier with a model biomembrane, and solubilization induced by surfactants. Current developments of hybrid particle field for biosystem here at the Hillero Center for Quantum Molecular Sciences include advanced treatment of electrostatic interactions and particle field model for proteins. Together with the constant improvement in computers, and performances of our parallel code OCAM, we are approaching the day when routine investigations of detailed models of biological memory are possible.